Hi, Adrian Reed, founder of Enlightened Stock Trading. It is the 18th of September, and this is my weekly market update. I'm a little bit late this week, I'm sorry, um, but Stephanie and I have been away for the weekend. We're in Byron Bay, which was amazing. I'll show you a photo later. I um, had a really great weekend and got to meet one of my amazing uh, Trader Success System members. Uh, so very excited about that. Um, so I'm trying something new. I need you to let me know if you like it. I'm doing video update rather than a text update. Um, mainly because right now I've been, we were driving for four hours today, so I'm kind of tired and I didn't really have the energy to uh, write down all of my thoughts. I thought I'd just speak them and share them with you. So um, reply to this video, let me know uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you like a video update or uh, do you prefer the old text update? So let's jump in. Let me show you what is going on in the markets this week. Um, here's the S&P. Um, really interesting because, uh, you know, we were clearly in a bit of a bear market here. And we had this big rally, which had a lot of people um, thinking that the bear market was over. And that was kind of strange. I, I, I've got to be honest, I, I was surprised that rally went on so long because, you know, with the rising interest rates and inflation and, you know, fear of Russia, Ukraine and all this other garbage going on in the world, um, I was really thinking that the market had a, long, a, a lot more downside to go. But uh, a lot of people were really starting to feel confident again and, and really buying in big. Um, but then we had the decline and uh, it the market turned in early September. So just, what's that, like a week and a half ago now. And uh, it looked like this was the first higher low in a new bull market, which was like, wow, that's kind of surprising given everything that's going on in the world. So we had four massive up days and then the market just turned around on a dime. We had this massive gap down and then ended the week, uh, this week, really, really weak. And uh, we broke that low. So it is now starting to look like this was actually a bear market rally rather than the first up leg of a new bull. Um, but look, we don't know for sure just yet. We've got to wait and see. Um, all I know is that you've got to have systems that allow you to profit from all different market conditions. You want something that will profit on the long side. You want a short system that will jump in and make you money and hedge your long losses uh, on the downside if there is a bear market. So the S&P looking pretty weak right now, very weak um, end, uh, end to the week. And uh, two really big down days this week, which was um, great for, for the short side trades we've got on. Um, here's the ASX All Ordinaries Index, more or less the same behavior here. We've got the, the big decline, massive bear market rally, decline, rally, and we haven't quite made new lows on the ASX. But uh, bear in mind, the US has had one extra day on Australia because this is Friday night after the Australian market was closed. So we'll see what happens on Monday. But it really is, as I say, looking like we're in a new, um, a new down leg in this, uh, in this bear market. So we'll see how that plays out. Hong Kong, still an absolute basket case. Uh, very pleased to be short in Hong Kong. If we um, zoom out here, you can see basically since 2021, this has been a, um, a very clear downtrend and uh, almost all of my shorts have now hit their profit targets in, in Hong Kong. So um, almost actually back to cash, still short, but, but almost back to cash in Hong Kong. And if I have a quick look at crypto, uh, here's Bitcoin. And again, look, if we zoom out, the very strong downtrend since um, since December last year, and we've been consolidating sideways for quite a while now. Um, there was a little bit of excitement here in August, and then again uh, this last week when the um, when the Bitcoin price popped above the 50-day EMA. Um, I use the 50-day exponential moving average as a regime filter in crypto, only mainly because crypto markets move so much quicker than, than in stocks. In stocks, I tend to use the 200-day because it um, uh, kind of keeps you out of the fake rallies. But uh, So we had a bit of excitement here with, um, with the, the price popping above the 50-day moving average, and some of our systems got long again. Uh, in, in crypto, but I wasn't fully loaded. Uh, so right now in crypto, uh, things are just sort of moving sideways. We're waiting for some clear direction. I think if the market uh, drops much below 18, uh, 18 and a half, uh, 18,500, I think we're gonna probably see some, some really big downside, which is great. Um, if the market rallies much past 24, then you know we might be in for some nice upside, which is great. And that's the primary message that I want you to take away from these updates. It really shouldn't matter what the market does. But what you need to do is have a set of rules, a set of systems that will profit when the market goes up, when the market goes down, and will transition nicely between those bull and bear phases. If you don't have that, the markets can be really stressful, particularly these areas of indecision, because you're not going to know if you want to load up 
on the long side um, or whether you should wait for further downside. But if you've got systems that will turn on when the market rallies and make you money on the long side and turn on if the market falls and make you money on the short side, then it really doesn't matter what the market does. <clears throat> so um, what are our systems doing um, this week? Uh, interesting week because in the um, in the US market, I'll just go back to the chart over here. Um, in the US market, we had this rally and this subsequent decline caused the, um, the slippery dip, which is um, my US short system to turn back on. And so we got fully loaded on the short side earlier in the week and we had a couple of really nice days as a result of that. Um, so uh, very pleased with the way that's playing out. Um, in Australia, the short side system is on as well. Uh, so we've got some exposure there. Uh, but my trend following positions in Australia are holding up pretty pretty well. So mostly I'm, I'm still fully loaded on, on the long side in Australia. Um, in Hong Kong, as I said earlier, I'm still short, but a lot of my shorts are now closed out. I've only got a handful left and I've got absolutely nothing on the long side. In crypto, um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. We're fully loaded on the short side uh, with our, um, our fallen angel system in the crypt that comes with the crypto success system. On the long side, I've got a fair uh, range of holdings. Some of the, the trend following systems, some of them have turned on um, with that, that pop above the 50 day moving average, but uh, I don't have 100% uh, exposure on the long side. So the, the portfolio is still sort of hedging its bets a little bit, I guess I, I would say. So we'll wait and see what happens. If the market gets uh, stronger from here, then we'll definitely load up more and, um, and the systems will do that for us pretty quickly. And uh, if the market collapses, then those, those systems, again, they'll exit pretty quickly as well to, to cap the downside. Um, and look, this is the key thing that I want you to get out of these updates. Just make sure you've got a portfolio of systems that means it doesn't matter for you what the market does. If you can make some money and when the market goes up, if you can make some money when the market goes down and at the very least keep your head above water when the market is, um, is sideways, then trading becomes very, very stress-free. So that's uh, really what, uh, what I want you to aim for as a trader. So um, in trading psychology this week, one of the things I noticed talking to a lot of my, or a number of members, is uh, a theme of patience came through a lot. And so um, my, my, my thought for you is that patience is one of the most important attributes or characteristics of successful traders. And if you're finding that you're getting impatient with losses or with, tr with losing trades that, um, that you want to exit, if you're getting impatient with your equity curve, waiting for it to, to make new equity highs, if you're getting impatient with your winners and you're wanting to close them out to bank those profits, if you're getting impatient with any aspect of your trading, then that presents a real problem and you need to do, do some work on that, pardon me. And what I find the, the, the main driver of impatience in trading is actually a lack of confidence in your rules. So um, my suggestion is if you're finding yourself impatient with some aspect of your system, you wanna dig in and investigate why that's uh, bothering you and do some system testing, some back testing around that. So often a lot of, a lot of times people get impatient with winners and uh, they want to bank those winners and close them out so that they can have a win, so they can feel that victory, that they beat the market. And uh, so if you've got a big win and you want to close it out, instead of closing it out, what you want to do is look at how big is that win and how long has that trade been going? And let's say you've got a 100% winner, you're, you're, you've, you've doubled your money in that trade and the trade's been open for 50 days. I mean, maybe what you can do is take your system rules and backtest those system rules with an additional profit target of 100% or a 50 day time stop or something like that to show you what is the impact of acting on that impatience. And if every time you are up 100% in your system, if you exited that stock so that you didn't have to feel impatient, would that make the system better or worse? And if it makes it worse, then you know that the impatience that you're feeling in that case is a bad thing and it boosts the confidence you have to follow your rules. And similarly with the time stop, if you're feeling like, oh my God, how long is this trade gonna go for? It's been going 50 days. How much longer do I have to hold this stock? I wanna move on. I wanna find something else that's moving. I wanna make more money. And you wanna close that trade. 
put a time stop in your system and backtest with and without the time stop and compare. And often what you'll find is that that impatience is actually not productive. So it, it will destroy value in the system. But by testing it, you can see it. And that helps you build confidence in the original rules. So patience is the most important attribute for, a success, for successful trading, or one of the most important attributes. But the way you build that patience is by building 100% confidence in your rules. So if you've got 100% confidence in your rules, it's very easy to be patient and just follow them. If you're not 100% confident, the task is to do the backtesting, do the analysis, dig into it until you have that confidence so you can be patient to follow those rules. And so if you're feeling that way and you're not part of the trader success system and you wanna know how to do that backtesting, how to build that confidence, then come and join us in the trader success system membership and you'll learn how to backtest, how to evaluate rules, how to test your hypotheses, how to understand whether um, some of your drivers, your, pers your, um, your psychological urges are good for your trading or bad, how to actually evaluate that quantitatively so that you know whether or not to follow those, um, those urges or not, follow those, those, um, uh, those feelings. So uh, trading psychology was, was the big thing. Um, this week in, um, in our, I usually highlight, a, do a member spotlight or a member wins. And um, what I wanted to do today is just uh, say a really big thank you to uh, Akim. Um, Akim is one of our amazing members and he's been working with, uh, with me for, for quite some time now. And he's an amazing trader. I really, I really love all of our time um, on our Zoom meetings together. But uh, I want to highlight Akim because this week, uh, I got to meet him face to face. And I've met very few of my students face to face. So for me, it was super exciting. So um, Akim, thank you for coming to visit Australia. He lives in Germany normally, but he was visiting a friend in Byron Bay. And uh, he said, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be here, can we meet? So uh, Stephanie, my wife and I, we went to Byron Bay, we met Akim, we had an amazing meal. Um, and uh, uh, actually, I'm not vegan. We went to this vegan restaurant and um, it was sensational, uh, really, really great food. Um, and then we had breakfast together a couple of days later. We had an amazing time in Byron and I got to hear a bit more about uh, Akim's life, how he came to where he is. And uh, I just wanna give him a big shout out because he's an amazing, inspirational soul, spirit, a very calming influence, very clear uh, thinking, hugely perceptive. And it really shows through in his uh, system development and in the way he executes his trades. So Akim, super, super job, so great to meet you. And uh, I was thrilled to spend some time and, and um, Stephanie loved meeting you as well. So thank you so much. Um, so news from, uh, from EST, uh, really the main thing we're focusing on right now in light and stock trading is, uh, is betting down the new members uh, portal and the, the new forum. So we've launched uh, the trader success system portal and we've launched the crypto success system portal and we've got the um, the, the course uh, material all loaded in there. We've got students in both portals. We're getting amazing feedback and the new forum, which thankfully thankfully takes us off Facebook, um, is working fantastically well. So, um, so that's going great. And uh, that's probably the biggest, uh, the biggest news from EST. We're just pushing ahead on that. Um, and uh, okay, so the next part of the update is, um, is on the home front. So personally, what's going on? What's happening with Adrian? Well, um, we had a really cool weekend in Byron. Like I said, um, Stephanie and I went, um, went to Byron and met Akim. We also spent some time together. We had a fantastic uh, time walking on the beach and um, taking in the sights. I'd ne never been to Byron Bay. I didn't know what all the fuss was about, but I gotta tell you, it's a fantastic town and they have amazing food. And I looked for, um, I looked for uh, the best coffee shop I could find. And often when I'm in a new town, I'll just Google, you know, best coffee near me and I'll look through all the reviews and everything. And um, we didn't have a single bad coffee shop. Uh, I went to uh, at least half a dozen during the week, during the weekend, and um, they were all good which is pretty astounding and uh, had one of the best dishes I've ever had in my entire life. The, um, the tuna tartare that I had at um, Beach Bondi 
was uh, sorry beach byron was um was amazing so if you're ever in byron you want a fancy meal go to beach byron and um have the tuna tartare was sensational um so look that's it for this week i hope that's okay i really just didn't have the mental energy to write i find it much easier to speak so if you like this video uh and you want more video updates reply tell me you want video updates if you hated this video and you want more text updates with my written thoughts reply to this video and tell me you want text updates Either way, if you're not in the trader success system and you're worried about how to make money if the market continues on the downside, or if you're worried about whether or not you need to load back up on the long side, then come and join the trader success system. You won't regret it because you immediately get a portfolio of profitable systems that work in a range of different markets, in a range of different market conditions, over a range of different timeframes and strategies. So it's a really great way to quickly diversify and stabilize and turn your trading into profit. So uh, hope that helps. Um, let me know whether you like the video update and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.